Hi friends, I'm Miriam Tapia. Welcome to ISF. We're kicking off Hispanic Heritage Month with a bang. President, Chief Operating Officer, and radio host of iHeart Latino, Enrique Santos has been entertaining and bringing the laughs with his morning radio show for over 20 years. It's my honor and privilege to welcome to ISF, Enrique Santos. Muchas gracias. Uh, I am, you know, first and foremost, I'm a fan. So I'm like thank super you. like, it's insane. It's a dream talking <laughs> to you today. Oh, uh, thank you. Before we get into I Heart Radio Fiesta Latina, yes. which is like. A month from today. Right, a month from today. We're celebrating here on the show Hispanic Heritage Month, so I'm going to give you the flowers. I think. Flat? Where are they? I mean, Which they're one? here. These? They're in the back. All right. Are these the type you got to water? Are these yes. the ones that look Actually, like you got to water them and you don't know if you got to water them until you try to smell them and then you realize that they're plastic? You're a busy man, so we're just going to give you the fake succulent. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Low maintenance. Low maintenance. I like that. Um, I have to tell you, you're a pillar in the community. I think what you're doing here in the radio industry nationwide, you're just phenomenal. I can't like just say much more about you because it's so great. Let's talk about you and your show. You've been on air for 20 years. How does it feel being on air for 20 years and being the number one bicultural show in the U.S.? Thank you so much for that. Um, it, it, when I hear people say it or, you know, I'm used to, I'm, I'm used to asking questions. So when I get, I'm used to interviewing. So when I get interviewed, I kind of feel kind of, kind of weird. Um, just try not to think too much about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, for most of my radio career, I'd say it's almost like I'm on automatic pilot. Um, the best part of being on the radio is the people. I think that my listeners and, and my followers are the ones that really dictate how my day is going to be, how my show is going to sound like, and what my social media looks like. So I'm just blessed and honored to have uh, so many people that are fans and that, and that listen. And I, I do it with a great sense of responsibility, right? To be able to uh, represent our people, to represent our struggle, to represent our, 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 our unity now more than ever. You know, there's a lot of challenging times and now going into Hispanic Heritage Month. For me, Hispanic Heritage Month is really every day that I wake up and then I'm able to uh, talk to our people, empower our people, educate our people and, and the next generation as well. Man, you're just a light here. It's it's amazing. You know, what you said, you have a responsibility. I think what made me even more a fan of you is that you gave, you've kind of given a path to other Latinos in your show. We have Julio, the producer here, and he... From Nicaragua. From Julio Nicaragua. Yes, Nika Power. Um, He's shy. He's camera shy. Yeah, and you know, we, we love that. We love that you've given other Latinos an opportunity in the radio industry. How important is that for you to do that? We all eat different colored... We all eat frijoles, we all eat beans, they're different colors. But our struggles are very similar, being if you're from Mexico or Costa Rica, Pura Vida, Pura Vida. Or, or Nicaragua or from Cuba, people are trying to come to the United States, which is the best country on the, uh, on the globe. Um, we're blessed to be here. So, um, of course, we got to help other people out, you know, and how can you not uh, identify or have empathy for other Latinos that uh, are willing to sacrifice their lives, be it in the Straits of Florida as rafters trying to get here, mm -hmm. or from Nicaragua or, 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 from, Me or from Mexico. Uh, people, you know, desperately and unfortunately losing their lives trying to, trying to cross waterways to get to the, to the United States. How difficult does your life have to be in these countries um, that you're willing to risk your life to, to come to the United States? So it's a matter of, you know, uh, Again, educating people, helping people. So if they, if they want to come to the United States, they do it uh, lawfully and not risking their lives. And at the same time, noticing that although we, uh, we all speak Spanish, hablamos en español, uh, there, we, there's, there's, we're so vast. Yeah, it's like me. They're like, oh, you don't look Nika. Oh, how am I supposed to look like? But you know what? <laughs> Whatever. We just keep it pushing. Um, talking about what you just said, you also, your show is very comical. It has a social satire to it. You've been again on air for 20 years. How does that creative process go, right? With you and your team, how do you keep that show a fresh of breath air? How do you keep it lively? Well, when I started in radio 20, thank you, we're almost turning 21, we're almost legal now, 21 <laughs> years ago, you know, I spoke uh, Spanglish, if you would, or in English and Spanish and back and forth, and I was told, no, that's too much, that's too much English for Spanish radio, or, you know, that's too much, and we're living it now, right? We have a lot of radio stations, like, uh, in, on, on iHeart Radio, like Y100, uh, yeah. right? Which is a CHR station, and, and, and they're playing Bad Bunny, completely in Spanish, but the jocks, are presenting Spanish music in English. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really cool to see those, those that intersection, that cross intersection of, 
of, by, of, of, of culture. So when I started my radio show, I wanted my radio show to reflect all these different banderas, all of our flags. And that's why I have Julio, it's on the show, that represents Nicaragua, and I have uh, Harold Venezuela, who's an ex-Marine and represents the Dominican Republic, and I have Gina Ulmos, who's from Mexico, mm -hmm. and uh, our digital team, you know, we have Grecia that's from Mexico, we have uh, Louis that's from, from Venezuela, I have uh, Ito, our producer, who's also from Puerto Rico, and DJ Extreme on my show that was born in Massachusetts, but again, both worlds, you know, a Puerto Rican that, was born here in the United States. And uh, it's, it just feels great when we open up the phone lines and talk to people and we sound like our audience and our audience identifies uh, with, with all of us. Where do you see the Enrique Santos show in 20 years? Because, hey, like you said, Joxers playing <laughs> Bad Bunny, like now what the world is endless in your show. If we had to look to the future, and to me the future is not so much in 20 years, not that I'm uh, trying to cut things short but or not give you an answer, mm -hmm. but I really like living in the moment. You know, what, what, what can we do to make our lives better here now? Uh, and you mentioned that the show has a lot of comedy involved. A lot of things are so, so sad. They're so real and so sad that are happening uh, in the country that if we really, if you took it that serious, you know, you wouldn't be doing it. Comedy right. is a way to, to help bond and to help uh, heal uh, and to talk about a lot of uh, topics that are extremely difficult to, to tackle. So we try to be a happy show. It's a morning show. You know, so it kind of set the tone for everybody that's listening, try to keep you informed, uh, put you in a good mood, and also give you the, you know, the tools and the instruments uh, to learn and to open, op open your mind. And I learn the process too, every single day. So again, my show is very, I can be, feel very passionate about going in in the morning and something that I saw over the weekend or I saw on the news the night before. Yeah. And I want to talk about this in the morning when I get to the radio program. Uh, we open up the phone lines and somebody says something and it totally de deviates. So again, I like uh, the audience to dictate what we're going to talk about. Well, Enrique, I'm going to tell you this. I hope you're on for like 60 years. Oh, so like, that's amazing. You're amazing. Thank um, you. Same to you. Thank you. Uh, something that is happening very soon, like you said, a month from now, is yes. the iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina. You're hosting the show. Talk to me about the lineup because that lineup is insane. It is a, a lot of fun to host and to produce the iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina. This year we're back in Miami. Last year we were in Orlando and during the pandemic we were kind of like everybody else. You know, we were off and everything was digital. So it's happy to see people again, right? And to see beautiful smiles like yours oh, and be able you. to hug people again. Yes. And so it's great. Uh, one of the main features that we do every year for iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina is that we honor uh, Latino that has done great stuff for our, for our people and for future generations. And so uh, I've had the honor to have been able to um, honor different Latino artists with our iHeartRadio Corazón Latino Award. We've had Pitbull, I've given the award also to uh, Mark Anthony, to Your Jennifer Lopez, my boy Mark. Yeah. Um, and this year, uh, Enrique Iglesias will be the recipient of the iHeartRadio Corazón Latino Award, so he'll be there with us. Farruko will be with us this year. Mr. Nicky Jam is coming back this year. We have Becky G. Mm -hmm. We have DJ Adoni, which will be the very first time that DJ Adoni will be performing in Miami with us. This is all going to happen at the FTX Arena a month from today, Saturday, October 15th. Do you get the phone and you're like, hey, Enrique Iglesias, can you just like, can you like be in our show, please? Like, or how does that go? You're just like, you're just like, hey, let's just do this lineup and I know that people are gonna love it. For some artists, it is as simple as picking up the phone awesome. and saying, hey, you wanna do our show? Are you available? Yeah, let's make it happen. For other people, it, it's more about going through their representatives or their, their record labels. Yeah. Man, the power you have in Mr. Enrique Santos, I wish I had that same power, oh, it's awesome. Thank you, but no, the, I, I wouldn't say power, I would say it's more connections and it's really just friendships throughout throughout the mm -hmm. year just being good to people and being uh, uh, being being humble about it but uh, also recognizing you know where, where, where you're at and a lot of friendships through throughout the year you know with, throughout the years with many different different artists a good man Enrique Santos a good <laughs> I tried I tried I try <laughs> I try I'm not get, perfect it's not sold out yet but it will be trust yes where can people go for tickets ticketmaster.com you can go to ticketmaster.com and buy your tickets today do it now before we sell out you can also go to iheartfiesta.com iheartfiesta.com and if you've never been to an iheartradio fiesta latina you don't know what you're missing. It's an awesome party. You don't have to wear high heels. I know. Thank God. Er, er, <laughs> Latinas get, you know, a lot of a lot of Latinas go With and the they, sneaks. Yeah, like, 
You can go in your kicks, it's just normal, you know. Yeah, he has tranquila, a fresh one. Chancletas. So. You can go in uh, chancleta. chancleta comedias también. <laughs> Aceptada. It's not the a problem. Balenciaga ones? Is that what you're talking Did about? Did you see those? They like, cost like $2,000. Man, people just like out yeah, here doing No, but I, do, you think it's, do you think it's fashion or do you think it's chusmeria to wear a chancleta con medias, flip-flops with, with uh, socks. I, if, if you're asking for that price, $2,000. Yeah. No, forget about the Balenciagas. I'm just talking about in general. It's just choose media. They used to do it with the Chinese. I think it's too, fashion. Remember? I love you it. Are, it's you? super cool. I'm going to wear my chancleta con medias for Fiesta oh. Latina. <laughs> you're invited too. I'm going to send you a pair of tickets, okay, by the way. Okay, good, good. You'll come in chancleta con medias? Yeah, I'll come just right. for you in chancleta con medias. I love it. And I'll, we'll take the, the selfie. That's awesome. <laughs> Join the movement. Hashtag chancletas con medias. I'm not kidding. Hashtag chancletas con medias, which in Spanish means uh, flip-flops and socks. Brandon's gonna put a chancleta con medias picture right now, <laughs> right here. President and CEO, COO and radio host legend of iHeart Latino, Enrique Santos, everybody. Thank you. I know um, it makes it sound so old when people say legend. You are a legend though. Oh my God, no, but it's like, it made me sound like a viejo. <laughs>